Right now, over 25 million people are intimately acquainted with the symptoms of an asthma attack, a condition which kills more than 3,000 people each year in the United States. In an effort to reduce the pollutants in the air and improve air quality, President Obama recently announced the Clean Power Plan, which will require carbon-producing power plants to reduce their emissions by 32%. According to the White House, the plan will reduce premature deaths related to power plant emissions by nearly 90% by the year 2030. Additionally, the EPA says that reducing carbon emissions will prevent 90,000 asthma attacks in children and 300,000 fewer missed school and work days. Air pollution can also aggravate health problems for the elderly and others with heart or respiratory diseases. Ed Newsel of Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center talks about some of the conditions that can affect our lungs. When we look at uh, different problems like asthma, COPD, emphysema, a lot of what we do here is called spirometry testing. We actually measure your airway functions. And if appropriate, we'll actually give you a treatment of a short-acting bronchodilator and measure again. And by the difference in your airway functions, we can determine whether uh, we can determine an appropriate medical protocol for you. Now, we also do something called complete pulmonary function studies. This is a much larger machine. I have two individuals here that are certified uh, on this machine, and it looks at things like lung volumes. When we look at things like asthma, COPD, that's an obstructive process. When we look at lung volumes, we look at more of a restrictive process. That's the fact that you just can't get a breath. It's kind of like being bear hugged or squeezed by a snake. It constricts you and restricts your ability to breathe. And so we measure that to see if that is a condition and then what we should do from there. A lot of times people don't understand. They think that what they have is normal. Um, I talk with my patients and ask them if they're short of breath, um, do you do anything? to get short of breath. Well, no, not really. Did you ever do anything? Activities? Well, I used to play baseball, but mm, I don't do it anymore. Well, why not? Well, I just didn't enjoy it. Well, you know, if you played baseball and you got short of breath every time you played baseball, you ain't gonna play baseball no more because we as a people have a tendency to do what we like and makes us feel good and not do the things that make us feel bad. And they don't understand the fact that this may be a change in their health. To get in touch with Ed Newsel and the staff at the Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center, please visit our specialist directory. We've also included some additional information on the various lung diseases on our website. Just click the Healthy Lungs tab on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.